You know I love you so much beyond compare. I don't know why I was in here playing Anita Baker uh, in chapter 8. I just want to be your girl that's been on my head all this time. So y'all, I finally get to what y'all been harassing me for for the last two weeks. Basketball wise, I just watched two hours of basketball wise. We're gonna consolidate this review, but I want to start bottom uppers really quickly. I don't know if y'all remember the video I did, I can't remember the way I did, but I spoke on the fact that you can, there's all I spoke on two things that there was always a missing piece that makes things that don't make sense make sense, and then there was another video where I spoke about. Whenever somebody's acting crazy or weird, something happened to them. This last scene on this very last episode of Basketball Wives was that missing piece that makes some of Jackie make sense. Not all of it. Something happened to her. Why she is the way she is. And that was a very moving and powerful uh, scene. And we're going to talk about that later as we get into Jackie and her daughters. Um, so let's just start back from not this last episode, but the one before that. When Tammy was talking about getting her wedding ring and that Reggie's going to propose. And that she's trying to make sure that he don't get her the same ring that he got Kenny. And she's trying to figure out that Kenny got her. She's trying to figure out what kind of diamonds that she got because she needs to factor in pawnability or whatever the case may be. He got to get it right. Sis, trust and believe he going to get it right because he buying you a ring with your money. He going to buy you exactly what you want or you going to buy what you want using him as a proxy. Sis, you ain't even got to worry about that because last we checked, Reggie ain't got no job nowhere in town and he just following you from booking to booking. Um, Tammy? Sis, I mean this with all sincerity. Look at Monique's career. Look at Angie Stone's situation. Look at a lot of these people who start making their man, their manager, or put their man on their payroll. It don't work. You and he need to keep separate work identities. His pay doesn't need to be contingent upon your career. He needs to go off and do his own thing. And that's just some real grown lady advice that I got from the old lady. Rishi was sitting, y'all, under the tree. Um, Cece confronting Jen and Ev and how they tried to downplay the whole situation as usual. You know, y'all pussy popped around that whole... Oh, you know, we like you, and it wasn't like that, and it was a joke, and da, 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 and it wasn't to be malicious. But the thing about it is, Evelyn, honestly and truthfully, at 40 something years or however old you are, 47, like, and after doing this show for damn eight years now, or however long you've been doing it, you have got to know how bringing gossip and street talk turns into this big old whatever, whatever. And I find it odd that y'all started this, joking or not, running back with street gossip, but found a way to flip it and put it all on Kristen. Yeah, the happy ending part was the joke. But the crux of the whole thing is that y'all were saying she was bringing recruiting men from the damn gym and bringing them back to her spa. So with or without the happy ending part, it's still a very bad rumor and bad street gossip talk to talk. But then Evelyn, you are the same person that get mad when people do the same thing to you and call you whores or call your, you know, based on the way she moves, she's your whore, build a whore daughter. Like, yeah, nobody knows that for proof. It's street gossip and you don't like nobody running with it. So I don't understand why you do the same thing to people. I mean, don't even get me started on Jen. Is it me? Or was CC doing they um, procedures and down into a hotel room, bitch? I'm hoping CC ass ain't doing illegal butt shots. Now, see, that's the real gag, Evelyn. That's what you need to be investigating. Not who she fucking, but who she shooting silicone in in them damn uh, hotel rooms. But, girl, she, at least she ain't like the Atlanta girls doing it in the back of Holiday Inns and whatnot. Kristen walked in that thing ready to get her titties done and walked straight into an ambush. And what I'm not understanding, though, know, is Kristen... You didn't do a good job on clearing your name 
or they edited it out because Evelyn and Jen basically confronted you on the fact that you did not tell her it was a joke. Kristen, it looked to me like you were trying to backpedal and be like, why are we even talking about this when you didn't address whether you were whether it was a joke or whether you omitted it by mistake you tried to skate all around it and that's what ended up making your ass look silly because all of this shit transpired because you went and ran back with something and you left a critical detail out and when they called you on it instead of owning it you doubled down you're going to end up getting hurt in this group of women if that's the kind of personality and the energy that you bring because they are going to attack the hell out of that weakness in your inability to stand in your truth. Um, when Tammy was going dress shopping with her daughter, Lyric, um, the only thing I could do in that moment was seeing Tammy's neck look like crepe paper. I'm concerned about Tammy's health. Like, I, I just, I hope she's okay. Um, it looks more than like wedding weight loss to me. Um, it looks health related. And I just hope everything is okay. And I'm going to leave that at that. I, I hope she's okay. But it is obvious. It is more than obvious that something is going on with Tammy's weight. And it's leaving her looking sickly. Um, they introduced us to OG last week. Okay, you know, OG... I'm, I'm indifferent about you at the moment. I don't know if I like you because uh, uh, you're leaning more towards I'm probably not going to like you. And I know this is going to sound stereotypical and prejudiced as hell. But you got that Nigerian thing that gets on a lot of people's nerves. Y'all go ahead and beat me up in the, com in the comments. But it's that it's that arrogance overinflated sense of confidence and this whatever I'm saying out my mouth is right it's the absolute gospel in your it's just very off-putting um we'll see now one thing that you did like and I hate when people do this you're a slasher I do health and beauty I play football I do real estate I'm a fashion designer I do and bitch you ain't doing none of it well you probably only doing football well people think that shit makes them look attractive and it's okay for you to do 90 different things if it's all within the wheelhouse meaning I play football. I also have a sports clothing line. I also do hair care products for women who are in sports. Like when it's all in the same wheelhouse, then it makes sense. But you just sound all over the place, coupled with the fact that you look all over the damn place. And yeah, mama, I know you're trying to, you know, be make us impressed and look good, but it's just really not a good look. Um, when Tammy sat down and talked to Jen, I like the fact that Tammy is just not here to play with these girls this season. You can tell she's here to feel, fulfill a contractual obligation. And she really just set Jen ass straight, especially when Jen started talking about, I'm both of y'all's friends and there is no loyalty. I just being, you know, an honest friend. And no, Jen, that's the wrong word. And there is loyalty. And Tammy ain't a damn fool. You know loyalty, Jen. It's that blind thing that you have. It's that blind following that you have for Evelyn. That's loyalty. Like, you are loyal to Evelyn to a fault, even when it doesn't serve to your benefit. And Tammy ain't no damn fool. Tammy recognizes the fact that she gonna kiki and fool our lot with you, but at the very end of the day, you are Evelyn's friend, and if a line ever had to be drawn in the sand, that's where the hell your ass is going. Um... Tammy had me giggling when they pulled up to OG's party, honey, and she asked Jackie, did she have on the wrong fabric because of the tribe situation? And Jackie was sitting there looking all kind of low self-esteem. She was like, oh, shit, here it is. I thought I was doing something, and I might be offending this lady. Quiet as it's kept. Tammy, you educated me, too. Now that you said it, it does make sense. Um... 
that yeah, different tribes wear different materials, but we so dumb over here in America or so non-cultured and non-exposed, we just figure, you know, multicolored cloth is all Africa and we put it on. Uh, that was funny. Um, <laughs> Um, let me see. It was also funny the way goddamn Tammy described OG in that bathing suit with the popcorn hat. But let's talk about something bigger that came out of this party because we found out a lot of interesting things. I had no idea that the source of contention right now between Tammy and Evelyn was Tammy speaking at the reunion about Evelyn and that GoFundMe. And Evelyn, for that to bother you so much, it says to me that the shit is true and that your intentions were not pure and it hit such a nerve because you like, damn, this bitch outed me and made me look like a fool on national TV. But Evelyn, you got to keep it real, Evelyn. You donated the money to Takari, okay? And on one token, yes, you may have been moved to do it because of the pictures. But Evelyn, let's not front. It was part of a larger scheme. Whatever that scheme was, it was part of a larger scheme, Evelyn. It just was. And you know it, and I think the minute you just say you fucked up and you admit that part and let it go, a lot of this shit with you and them would disappear. Like, I just don't understand why you can't tell the truth about it. And you feel so stuck and embarrassed about it. Then you want to pull the whole, it was eight months ago. Well, bitch, you was lying eight months ago and you lying now. Like, Evelyn, anybody with a half a pupil can see that you donated that money as part of a larger scheme. Because real talk, you could have called Shawnee. You could have called <clears throat> Jackie. You could have did, you know, whatever. Um, what was funny, though, is when Evelyn and Tammy was talking, Jen messy ass stirring the fuck out that pot, and Evelyn said <laughs> to Tammy, Tammy was like, oh, I got a bond. And she was like, no, I actually wore a busted ass wig and a fanny pack the way we met you. Bitch. I hollered, okay? But what did I say on a previous video? I never thought that Jen, Shani, or Evelyn truly ever regarded Tammy as being on their level then and now simply because of how she came into the picture. I do think that there's a little Nene Leak charade going on over here that Tammy was the busted charity case that came in with the busted wig and the fanny pack. Now she's excelling career-wise further than all of them. And because they, in their mind, pegged her as beneath them, it's bothering them. In particular, Evelyn. I'm not going to say them as in Shawnee. It's bothering Evelyn. I do think that's a part of the hostility between those two. And Tammy is reveling in the get back. Yeah, y'all didn't think much of me, but bitch, look at me now. And rightfully so. Um, I will say this though y'all can see that Tammy is doing exactly what I said she was doing filming just to get her check she filmed her little 10 minutes she said alright bitch I ain't got time for this and she leaves very Kim Zosiak Tammy Roman has checked out of Basketball Wives LA um, as far as OG coming over and then Kristen getting upset and leaving I'm not really understanding what went wrong and that made Kristen get so testy when OG was like, you know, we just need to stop. I don't think OG was trying to come at nobody. I think she was just saying we, as in like we as a group of people sitting here. Kristen definitely took that to the next level in my opinion. And then OG cleared her ass when she was like, I'm leaving. And she was like, um, I will say this though, OG. And this is what I say is that Nigerian thing that I can't stand. Despite the fact that you were being polite and you were very monotone and you weren't screaming, you spoke to that girl very condescendingly. We, meaning not I, a group of people. Like, that shit, after you say that to somebody, there's nothing left for that person to do then but have an attitude. Like, I didn't like that, but you cleared the fuck out of Kristen because 
when you said, uh, she's like, I got a husband, he's home with my baby. Is he? Mama didn't know what to do, and bitch, by the way her face froze, honey, you had to hit some kind of goddamn insecurity, and she wasn't gonna get buck. and I think that's another thing that you do too, OG. You know ain't none of them girls gonna fight your ass, and you use that to your advantage. Don't be um, a bully, because you can't be ugly and a bully. Catch. Um, moving right along to the scene from last week's episode, where Shawnee, Kristen, Evelyn and Jen were sitting down rehashing what was going on at the party. I said, you know what, Kristen, you fit right on in with them catty bitches sitting in there picking on people, gossiping, laughing, and he hee and then backpedaling when your ass get called out. You fit right in. Then, sure, as soon as I thought that, here comes Shawnee ass in the confessional. I really like Kristen. She gets our humor. She fits right in. Yeah, because she mean and catty and petty, just like you bitches. I'm sure you do like her. Um, I will say this, though. Jen, I, how y'all feel about Jen revealing to Shawnee that Tammy had an issue with her laughing? I don't see nothing wrong with that. Tammy received it as her stir in the pot, but I will say this. I don't know... Whoa, I had to smell my feet. Um, I don't know what hold it is Tammy have on these ladies. But they are all scared as fuck of her. I have never seen Tammy double down or backpedal the way she did when Shawnee said, Hey, I heard you may have an issue with me. Tammy, not only did you backpedal, you just flat out lied. Your issue was that you want Shawnee to laugh on both sides. When Shawnee asked you about it, you made it seem like it had nothing to do with Evelyn and that you just needed support and laughs in the crowd. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, Miss Tammy. No, ma'am. You lying. You wrong. And you did not tell and reiterate the same emotions and thoughts and feelings and sentiments to Shawnee that you conveyed to Jen. You did not say to Shawnee, Shawnee, I think it's messed up. I know you have to be friends between both of us, but you laugh at her jokes about me and I was bothered because when I told my joke about her, you didn't laugh. You completely backpedal, rewrote the story, talking about you, you wanted support and you needed laughs in the crowd because it's not easy being a comedian. That's some bullshit, Tammy. And up until this point, Tammy, you have always gotten the award for being the real one and being a straight shooter. But that got me looking at you like, and I'm just like, damn, y'all, y'all like that fucking scared of Shiny? Y'all scared to upset Shiny that damn much? I don't even think the conversation would have upset Shiny, but you should have kept it with, well, you know what? It ain't even no need of me scolding you about keeping it real, because I'm sure the lady don't see the show at this point. But Tammy, I, I, in that situation, I lost a little respect for you. Um, Jackie and her conversation she had with Shani. Let me tell y'all something. When Shani came over to the apartment, and she was talking about how Jackie didn't hug them as kids and so on and so forth. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Do I believe Takari is over embellishing some certain things? Yes, I do. Do I believe Takari is trying to hurt Jackie? Yes, I do, in a sense. Because when you hurt, you just want that person to feel the things you have felt. But I will say this. Jackie, I can look at the way Shani turned out and the way Takari turned out and tell you without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, you neglected one and loved one more. You can look at Takari. Takari looks, you did not sew into Takari the way you sold into Shani. Shani handles herself with class. She looks nice. She looked clean. All the pictures around of Takari look like she's got no home training, like nobody taught her how to comb her hair, yet alone wipe herself correctly. Like you look like you just didn't put any effort and you just disregarded that daughter that's what it looks like jackie and that's not good for you that's not good for you that girl is telling the truth about a lot of the things let me tell you something people might forget exactly what you did but they don't forget how you made them feel and that girl's feelings are legitimate shiny mama when it comes to that weed baby shiny mama was blown as hell when shiny was talking about that weed oh my Man, man, man. That was funny. And last but not least, 
Jen bringing Evelyn. Oh, I got through this pretty quickly. Jen bringing Evelyn and Malaysia together. I found it odd that Jen and no, that Evelyn and Malaysia never got an opportunity to talk, but she was absolutely right. Jackie was always in the mix. And then not to mention too, Evelyn, you was on that mean girl shit with Brandy and Tammy and that whole walkout situation. So, you know, I, I'm with Malaysia in terms of like feeling a little standoffish when it comes to you, but I'm glad to know that y'all can um, all be friends because I actually like Malaysia, Jen, and Evelyn. I think that that could be fun. Um, and last but not least, I need to get the information to that therapist that was talking to Jackie because unlike the ones that be on all the Atlanta shows, that lady looked like she know what the fuck she doing and what the fuck she talking about. And she brought Jackie to tears and I hope Jackie continues to go to therapy with this lady. As a matter of fact, I actually stopped going to my therapist. I just missed two appointments and then never rescheduled. And now it's been months and it just reminded me that my ass needs to get back in therapy and finish getting my life and my emotions together. And you know why? Cause emotions make you cry sometimes. All right, all right, all right. Rest in peace, Dino. Be as Shazam. Body rocking knock. Let me get out of here, bitch. I'm finna go down to the bar. This time I ain't going to the bar with the Rich Cosby or the Honda Cosby. I'm going to the pizza bar. Give me a little piece of pizza. Coca-Cola, please. And I'll call y'all hoes later. Bye.